Good, Good morning, morning Panthers. Panthers, and welcome back to another amazing episode of CTV2. I'm Ella Ben. And I'm Albert O'Hara. Bringing charge latest to, to you. you. Saturday is a senior class car wash and Sunday is a key club car wash. Monday there's a junior class dinner night at BJ's and after school there's a high school SGA meeting. Wednesday is a Jekka dress up day and also Wednesday drama is hosting a mystery dinner night in the cafeteria. Thursday and Friday you can get your class rings during CMD lunch and also make sure to get your yearbooks in room 205 for $85. Freshmen, your final payment for the Bush Gardens field trip is due by April 29th. See Ms. Harwell for more information. Writers, artists, photographers want to get your work submitted? Literary magazine submissions are due in room 205 to Ms. Harwell. See her for more information. Here's a special video from the Coral Springs Police Department. Vaping has become an epidemic in high schools across America. When vaporized, the liquid can degrade into a carcinogen. Which is known to cause cancer. Nicotine is a highly addictive substance and can result in painful withdrawal symptoms. Companies are specifically targeting teens with flavored pods. Vaping THC can lead to being charged with a third-degree felony. Distributing on campus will lead to a second-degree felony. As a convicted felon, your future opportunities may be affected, including employment, military service, and continued education. Possession of a vape on campus is illegal. Possession of a vape with THC and you'll be suspended and face expulsion. Don't let your future go up in smoke. Now here's CSPN with an interview from Lindsay Garcia. Good morning Panthers and welcome back to another episode of CSPN only on CTV2. I'm Georgia Reek here to update you on your recent sporting events. Over spring break our varsity baseball team played in a tournament where they won all of their games and came out on top. The team remains undefeated and ranks first in the district. Great job boys. Here's Julia with your upcoming events. Hey Panthers, it's Julie Galling here to announce your upcoming events. Today, the softball team has a game at 6 against South Fork. On Tuesday, the girls lacrosse team has a game at 5 against North Broward Prep. The softball team has a game at 6 against Doral. On Thursday, softball has a game at 4 against West Broward. The boys baseball team has a game at 6.30 against Glades. On Friday, the boys baseball team has a game at 6.30 against Somerset Academy. Let's talk to Lindsay Garcia about this year's softball season. Hi, my name is Lindsay Garcia and I'm a senior on the varsity softball team. It's a bittersweet feeling. I've accomplished a lot here and I'm grateful for everything that, I, that this school has given me. But at the same time, I'm ready for my next step and what I'm going to accomplish in college. Um, obviously winning a fifth state championship, but as individually I'm focusing on winning All-American because last year I won second team All-American, so this year I want to win first team. We should be fine. I think we're going to come through with five. We have a really good team this year. We are all really good hitters. Um, we should be completely fine, to be honest with you. We're a really driven team. I hope the incoming senior class takes the leadership role that this senior class has given you guys. Um, we've done a lot for everybody, and we hope that you guys do the same thing and that you guys love your teammates as much as we, got, as we love you and um, win a six-state championship. Now here's Fine Arts with a recap from their state's competition. Hey Panthers, welcome back to another episode of Fine Arts News on CGB2. I'm your host, Joey Cannon, and this past week, our high schoolers went on the Florida State Thesbian State Competition for Acting. They received four superiors and two excellence. Great job, guys, and hope to keep up the great work.
And here's behind that deal with an interview from Sade Isidore. Hi, my name is Shade and Isidor, and I've been a part of Key Club for the past four years of high school. I was the co-secretary my sophomore year, and both my junior and senior year, I've been the president of the club, and I absolutely love it. But besides Key Club, I have other interests, like I tap dance out of school, I also play the piano, and I do a lot of things, but Key Club has definitely taught me the importance of service and um, giving back to your community. And this year, as every year that we've been doing, we've been planning up the event, Light It Up Blue, which purpose is to bring awareness to autism. And this year we're supposed to make it bigger and better since it is the school's 20th year. So we've partnered with other clubs, even the walk is planning to light up the business is blue, and we're just hoping that this event is a success. But in addition to Light It Up Blue, we've had countless stuff like um, Steps for SOS back in November, which we raised over $1,000 for. We also had um, a Thanksgiving service project, which when we went to St. Andrew's Catholic Church to give food to the community. So we've really been involved this year, just like last year and the years past. And I hope that that Key Club continues to be what an amazing club and organization even after we leave. And that I hope that everyone considers joining it if you didn't know already what it was. Now here's Student Life covering Key Club's Autism Awareness event. Good morning, Panthers, and welcome back from spring break. This past Tuesday, Charter hosted the Light It Up Blue event to increase awareness on those affected with autism. Let's talk about that. The Light It Up Blue event was held to spread awareness for those affected by autism, a developmental disorder that affects one in every 68 children in the USA and impairs the ability to communicate and interact. At the event on Tuesday, April 2nd in the Coral Springs Charter Cafeteria, there were speakers, breakout sessions, learning activities, vendors selling snacks and drinks, and entertainment, such as our Momentum Dance Group. Blue is the color for the acceptance of autism, which is why Autism Speaks wanted us to light it up blue on Tuesday. Here are some highlights from the event. Thank you all for joining me this week, Panthers. I hope that everybody who went to the Light It Up Blue event had an amazing time. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Hey guys, it's Matisse. And Devin Shelton from SGA. Next week is Class Election Campaign Week. We wish every candidate good luck and reminder to keep it classy. You can vote on Voting for Schools app or on the website. You need your virtual council ID to log in, so see Ms. Parks if you have any issues. The SGA monthly meeting is April 8th after school. Just a reminder, today is That 70s Dance, hosted by SGA. You can buy tickets from any SGA member for $10 or get them at the door for $15. Just a reminder that Relay for Life is April 6th. Any student can sign up on the Relay for Life website. That's it for this week. Want a Panther? Always a Panther. Hey Panthers, I'm Polina Riojas giving you your National Honor Society update. There are a lot of obligations and little time left. Make sure you complete three events in three hours. Now here's a message from Mr. Singer reminding you of all your opportunities you can get to meet those requirements. Hey Mr. Singer here, NHS Faculty Advisor. Just going through some of the applications that we received this week. So we're going to be going over these applications over the next few days. In addition, we have tutoring, math tutoring, every Monday and Thursday. That's where you can catch NHS members going down to the middle school to help those guys get past these uh, statewide exams. On the weekends, well, every Saturday, uh, or every Sunday, rather, we do tennis buddies with Parkland Buddy Sports. In fact, next Saturday, we'll all be at the street, uh, street cleanup. We have an adopted street, Riverside Drive, between Wiles and Sample and we'll all be out there on a Saturday cleaning the street. Uh, this month we have a special event. We're going to be honoring our sophomore members with a special banquet on April 22nd. All sophomores will be honored. Each one will receive a little pin. It's a new tradition. Any member that's been in NHS for three years will have the polo shirt with a pin in each lapel. Big month in April. More coming in May. 
the big month in April. So this is Mr. Singer with NHS News. Thanks for watching another episode of NHS. See you next week.